And so it begins. Today, we're putting down a challenge Brand for new. some picky picky eaters. Sardines is up today. Shopping down. I think that sardines is an acquired taste. They are briny little suckers, and they will give you a one-two punch of... Full of flavor. And fishiness. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. Just fish. <laughs> I hear you have a certain uh, non-proclivity for sardines. Canned fish, it just doesn't sound right to me. I feel like just this odor emanating from this can of just gross little things. I don't like the little can they come in. Okay. Everyone got beef or fish They just like with look too much like fish. Have you ever had it fresh? Um, oh. no. I have tried sardines one time. Where are the bones? Like, Somewhere they're there. teeny tiny. The brains and the guts. I don't like any sort of seafood. So you do not like the taste of seafood? Settle. No. Let's talk about what do you like? My favorite type of food is Mexican food because it's like spicy and cheese put together. So you together. like complex flavors. I love like really savory like mac and cheese, like these full flavors. Italian food, Mexican food. Do you like spicy? I can handle some spice. Un poquito. I you do like... not do spice. Now you want to see me fall the hell out? <laughs> We're not gonna yuck anyone else's yum, and some people do think sardines are yummy. We may not change everybody's minds, but we, we might will change try. hers. We got this, Lauren. <sighs> okay, we'll be back. I don't wanna be here. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm taking a traditional spin on sardines, which is it's often done like as sardine toast, but I'm gonna do sardine tostada because I'm bringing in that plant-based Caribbean feel and variation. You know, I always have to take it to my Latin side. I'm gonna be doing a crispy tortilla shell. Then I'm going to take these cuties and I'm gonna saute them and make a red style bolognese, so a red sauce. So it's gonna be my salsa roja. And then I'm gonna layer that with some avocado, with some onions, with some cilantro, and with some shredded cotija. So that's flavor on flavor on flavor on flavor. Everyone's so afraid of eating this, right? But what they don't know is that you can get the fresh stuff hiding right here. So right now I'm preparing uh, just some garlic and shallots for when I sear my sardines. I'm gonna score them up real nice, get them real crispy, add a little soy. What that's gonna do is bring out the saltiness, the umami of sardine itself, because it's very, very good fresh. I'm from the Bronx and I've been growing, I've grown up with these cans. I've been eating these. They were also the star of many of my collegiate struggle meals. So if you know how to mess with flavors, what am I talking about, your flavor matrix? Salty, sweet, sour, tangy, umami. Then you can just do a variation that pulls out the flavors that you want from them. So right now I have some sushi rice that I uh, just made, seasoning it with some shoyu soy sauce. I'm about to show you some flavors. Right now I'm reducing some soy sauce, marin, garlic, shallot, tomatoes in the same oil that I was frying the sardines in. So what that's gonna do is amplify the amount of sardine taste in your mouth. The girl here got one, two, three, four cans of sardines. They don't like it, I'm gonna put it all the holes. We are facing fears head on. Here you have sardine rice bowl with sardine mayo. I always say people eat through their eyes. So you gotta also make it look visually appealing. Sardine tostadas. Tostadas a la sard. Beatrice. Tostada. Wow. Tostada. Yeah. I'm I like it. It's light. I don't taste any like fishy flavor. I'm really, really impressed. I don't taste the sardines at all. Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be afraid. <gasps> it looks like a fish. It still has the eye. Champion. Go ahead. I like the flavor. It has a good taste to it. This shit is good. <laughs> is this the only fish in it? No. Like there's fish within mm -hmm. everything else too? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Then I like it. So out of the two dishes, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with, I'm gonna go with Ross's dish. I'm gonna go with dish number two because I just wasn't expecting that. And then how everything came together, bomb is If I had to choose one of the two dishes, I'm definitely gonna go with Yachty's tostada. 
and I just couldn't tell that there were sardines in it at all, so I think that is a win in my book. They were both great, but I think I have to go with this number two. Just the fact that the sardine was just right there in my face, it was a little scary, but I wanted to dig in, I wanted to eat it. Our goal here was to make you guys eat sardines, and we did that. The real winner is sardines. Team Canada head ass. <laughs> Ross took it to another level. We played with lots of flavors. You guys are all now leaving, dare we say, sardine experimenters are open to trying yeah. it. Yes, definitely. We made some changes, guys. Sardine all 2019. <laughs>